Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing categorical data. This is standard 6.12d in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have students that are asked to name their favorite meal of the day. We've got three options, supper, lunch, and breakfast. And we need to figure out which data set matches this percentage bar graph. Now this is kind of tricky for several reasons. First, take a look at how they give us and how they represent our answers. Supper, lunch, breakfast. But look at how they give us our numbers in each of these tables breakfast, lunch, supper. So they swap lunch and supper. And so we're going to have to keep that in mind when we are trying to match up our table with our percentage bar graph. So let's just see if we can at least put some numbers on these right here. So our supper is our largest portion. It goes from 40 to 100. So we just need to subtract those two. And that's going to get us 60%. And then we've got a little bit of lunch right here, and it goes from 30 to 40, so that's just going to be 10%. And then we've got from 0 to 30, and so that's going to be 30% for our breakfast. Now, one thing about our percentage bar graphs is that they always add up to 100. They go from 0 to 100, so 60, and 10 is 70, and then an extra 30 is going to be 100. So we need to find which of these tables matches that. And so we can just look at proportions. Look at supper. Supper is going to be the largest. So let's just make sure we've got supper as the largest on all of these. I've got 10, 18, 4, and 12. Those are the largest. Okay. Lunch needs to be the smallest on each of these. So lunch, oh look at that. It's got lunch at 4 on F here. But lunch is going to be the smallest, so I'm going to get rid of F here. Look at G. I've got lunch and s breakfast being equal, and it's not the same. Lunch is a lot smaller than breakfast. We're going to get rid of G here. Lunch is smaller on H. That's good. And then lunch is larger than breakfast. Breakfast has got zero. That doesn't make any sense. Breakfast has got 30. So look, I've already eliminated three answer choices, and I'm pretty sure the answer is H. How can we double check this? Well, this is how we make a percentage bar graph. First, let's take a look at H. We're going to take a look at our 9 and our 3 and our 18. Let's add them up to see what our total is. So that's going to be 12 and 18. So that's going to be 30. So all of these we can view as a fraction, right? So breakfast has got 9 out of 30. Lunch has got... 3 out of 30, and then supper has got 18 out of 30. Now, all we need to do is turn those into decimals, and each decimal into a percent, and we're good to go. So, there are a few different ways that we can do this. You can always divide up, right? You can always take your 30, divide it into 9. You can take your 30 and divide it into 3 and your 30 and divide it into 18. You could do that, but I'm noticing that if you can get your denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, it's pretty easy because those are your decimal places. And each of these, I'm going to divide each of these as an equivalent fraction. I'm going to reduce these by 3 over 3. Because what I'm going to get is a fraction of 10th. That's good. And 9 over 3 is, there we go, so 3 tenths. So 3 tenths is 3 tenths. Move the decimal over twice, and look, you've got your 30%, which is what we need to write here. So let's divide this by 3 over 3, and you're going to get 1 tenth, so that's 0 0.1. Move the decimal over twice, you got 10%, which is what you need right here. And then let's divide this by 3 over 3, and you're going to get 6 over 10, which is... 0 0.6, move it over twice to get the percent, and that's what we get. So our answer is H.